Hi guys, this is Kelly, the teen librarian at the Wichita Falls Public Library, here for another Teen Steam. Today we will be learning about chromatography. Chromatography is the separation of a mixture passing through a solution at different rates. Today we will specifically be working with paper chromatography. This is a method used to separate mixtures that uses paper and solvents like water. For today's experiment, you will need coffee filters, small plastic cups, water, and markers. I already have water in my cups. They're filled to about a quarter to a third of the way full. Just remember that not all markers will work. So we will be trying this experiment with a washable marker and a permanent marker to see if this will make a difference. First, you will need to take a coffee filter and color in the metal part of the coffee filter with our markers. As you see here, I'm going to try a couple of different colors, black, purple, and I'm testing the blues with the washable marker and the sharpie. If you feel like you're going to make a mess, you can also put a sheet of paper underneath here to make sure that you don't color in any tables or surfaces that you might get messy. You can also use small coffee filters, but you'll do this for every single one. Once you're done coloring them in, you will fold them in half and then fold them in half again like this. I have four of them, so I will be doing this with all four. Once you have your coffee filters folded like this, you're going to place them into the cup of water, making sure only the point is in the actual water. If you need to adjust to make sure it will stay without falling in, you can. These two here are my Sharpies, and these two here are my washable markers. You'll just leave them in the cup for a few minutes, and it should start having a reaction. So it looks like the washable markers are reacting quicker than the permanent markers, but after a minute to about three minutes, you should start seeing that there are different colors than the original purple, blue, or black on the coffee filters. So it appears that the permanent markers do not work as it's not bleeding onto the rest of the filter. 
but the Bosch Bowl markers do work. And we can look at the chromatography here. A paper towel set out to try and not make a big mess. But if you unfold it or if you want to leave it folded, you can kind of see the different colors that it has created. Which this shows us the different dye molecules that are used in the different markers. So we still see the blue here, but then we start seeing a little bit of pink or maybe purple up here. And with the purple, we know that red and blue make purple. So you kind of see the different shades of purple in here and a little bit of blue bleeding from it. And you can really see the blue on this part here. And then at the top it starts turning a red or pink color. If you try this experiment at home, if you have different types of markers and the same colors, you can try the different brands and types to see if they use the same color dye molecules or not. Usually they differ a little bit, which means you'll get different shades of blue or reds or maybe even like browns or yellows. You just have to try it yourself and see. I hope you guys enjoyed today's program and I'll see you guys next time.